And we are back with more TGIF. And Al, I'm rolling because there's a third person I have to add to my list of people that get on my nerve on this show. So it's Hazel E. Okay. It's Boosie. Uh-huh. And can you imagine who the third person is? Rolling Ray. Yes, that dog. <laughs> Rolling Ray. Listen, y'all, Rolling Ray is back in the news. He is calling out Milan Christopher after he announced that he is creating his own version of Bad Boys Club. Now, Ray tweeted, Milan Christopher trying to start his own Bad Boys show, but don't even have Bad Boys money. You still got to pay security. And I mean, pay them good. Boy, how you got, uh, boy, you been molly walked by Rio and Jonathan on the block. Imagine the budget under Milan Christopher. This is chess, not checkers. Now, for people who don't know, Milan was a cast member of the Zeus Network show, Bad Boys Club. What are your thoughts about, I was about to say something really off-putting. What, what are your thoughts about what Ray had to say? Oh. Uh... Before I get into that, didn't we invite Roland Ray to be on our show? Yeah, Whatever. he wanted a booking fee. A what? A booking fee. A booking fee, Q? He wanted a booking fee. And to come tweeted, on the show? Yeah, he wanted a booking fee and tweeted that um, he knows that he's hot and that this show will go on forever and we would be making money for a very long time off of his name and that he was not coming on the show without a booking fee. <laughs> Ooh, I need Roller, I need Roller Ray's uh, management. Anyway, um, I don't know, Q. For some reason, when I read this particular story, it just didn't settle well with me. Like, um, for, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's staged. Like, this whole story felt staged. I don't know why I feel like Roland Ray, uh, Natalie Dunn, uh, Zeus and Milan. I just feel like, and Roland Ray, I, I feel like they all are, are in on this story. I don't know why, but I just feel like that. Because it just seems to me like, why would Roland Ray, he's a, a talent over at Zeus. He had that show with Bobby Light, right? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I, I, I did not. Don't ever ask me, I, did I watch anything with Bobby Ray, Roland Ray or Bobby Lights? I'm a sophisticated, rich white woman and we don't <laughs> watch that type of TV. <laughs> you done put the Latina lady away. Oh, and, and I'm a spicy Latina woman. We don't watch that type of TV. Yeah, I don't know why I felt like that. I, I felt like this, it, it just felt a little fake. It, it felt a little staged. It felt like it, that they were looking for like some 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 coverage in the blogs and coverage in press. So, you know, I did read the story and the Zeus Network actually did send Milan Christopher a cease and desist. Mm -hmm. um, the name Bad Boys Club is, you know, trademark, obviously, is their intellectual property. He put out something where he was trying to hold live auditions for people to do whatever, whatever. You know, I don't know what the interest. Um, I'm not even going to go down this rabbit hole again because we've already gone there with Zeus right. and their right. programming. But it listen, is, you know, you have you have contracts, Q. We know we have contracts. We know we can't walk out the door and go uh start another tgif right oh, come on now like that's right. the part where i'm like this isn't making a lot of sense milan milan is a is a, a quite a savvy little businessman too i don't think that he he would think you know that he can go do this like he knows that he got a, a blackout period on his contract until you know a certain time before he can be on any other show with a similar name that's just like you and i and claudia stepping away from fox soul and going to vh1 and saying hey we got a, a new show and it's called tgif like this just isn't making sense to me me personally i'm just ready for milan to pivot milan's my age i'm 38 you know what I'm saying? Mm. We, we, we're nearing 40. It just becomes a certain point where all of this sex symbol, I'm fighting people in the club stuff gets old. But I got a question for the soulmates out there. Roland Ray got so much mouth. Are we allowed to fight Ray? Like, are, are, is somebody allowed to run up on Ray and pop his ass in the mouth? Because he's always talking. Always. What do you think, I Al? I don't think I could. I can't condone assaulting uh, physically challenged people. Q. <laughs> you had to. You had to. 
<laughs> I, I agree. Right? At, at the end of the day, I know it's wrong, right? You have a you have an advantage over somebody like Roland Ray. But Ray uses that damn wheelchair with that little remote control as a license to go around and say right. whatever the hell he wants to say to people because he knows people can't fight him. And I don't think that's fair either because words hurt as well. And Ray is always, can you throw water on him then? Right, maybe you can throw water on him, Q. Yeah, you can turn on a water hose. Throw water on him, but we can't either. <laughs> We're going to get in trouble for this. <laughs>